All right, right now we're going to briefly cover defense and blocking. We already talked about the footwork. There are several types of blocks. Wing blocks, umbrella blocks, tip up blocks, tip down blocks. Primarily everything we do, we're going to try to keep the tip up as vertical as we can. So when he strikes a number one, just think about opening and closing a door. Boom, that's it. Then you have your checking hand here or here, depending on what you do. You want to be careful if you check over the top too many times because if he comes over and traps, you're dead. So if we, ideally, you want to try to check this way. Now, likewise, there's what we call a cutting block. If he strikes a one, you can do that. However, it doesn't always get you close enough to be able to do your counter. But you can combine the two, and again, he strikes, and you're right here. And then you have the check. You can do the disarm. You can do whatever you want. Okay? That's uh, basic blocking. To, to get a handle on that, one of the ways that we like to do it as a drill is he puts a stick right on my head. That's a number one. I'm going to work the, the footwork. Then he's going to stick it on this side. That's a number two. Just to give you an idea. And again, go very slowly and that'll cover that. This is a block, a check, and then eventually you'll learn to throw counters. Empty hand, same thing. <clears throat> We're going to work. He throws here. It's one, two, three. Now remember, a number one strike is a forehand strike to his head. It could also be, for example, if he switched feet here, back leg round kick to the head. That's still a number one, right? So it doesn't matter. So from here, the block check in the counter, one of the ways we practice it at first here is we're going to go like this. And right, left, right, and left, right, left. All right? And again, this way, to work your movement, he places his hand here. We're going to cut to the right cut to the left. Now he's going to put the hand up. We did it for just to show you, but like we talked about, now he's going to keep the hand up. Give me something to aim at. All right, and you'll work the movement that way. All right, very important drill, and eventually to develop the flow and the smoothness. Because from here, you're going to learn sensitivity and flow. And we talked about this before, so that when you get ready, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> You can trap, lock, or do whatever you need to do from that drill there. So now you've covered blocks and checks, and you've started covering some movement and some footwork. Now we have to tie it all together. But again, for safety purposes, we're going to go baby steps first. So the first thing Chris is going to do is only defend. So I'm only going to strike. The thing is, I'm not going to strike hard, and I'm going to try to develop the flow. So even if I hit him, it's just going to touch him like that, nothing hard. And it, it, we're starting to develop movement and knowing your surroundings and knowing how to step. So when I strike here, I'm just striking here. I want to get him to move more that way, so I take a little bigger step. See, now I'm going to shoot at this leg because I want to get that leg to move. I want that leg to move. So I'm beginning to learn how to direct him where I'm going. That's all he can do. All right? Now, give, he'll do it to me. Because one of the things you want to know is when you check, you have the ability to control him. So if he's here like this, if I want to push his check away, I can do that. We call that palace palace or passing. If he wants to check here, I can check it this way. If he comes back here, I can check and raise it because I might want to fire a shot there. I could check and lower it because I want to come in here. So now he's just going to attack and I'm just going to block and check. But I'm going to be careful of where I want to move. So now if I want to move and cut him off a different direction when he strikes, I stepped a little more because I'm getting ready to do a disarm. So again, always just checking and blocking and attacking. That's all you're doing. 